Hey everyone, so uh, this is gonna be the first R tips video and I have five minutes to show you how to get started with R. So let's not waste time. You're gonna get your favorite web browser. That's gonna be Chrome for me. And what we're gonna do is that we're going to install the tools that you need to get on your computer so that you can use R. So I'm going to assume this is all working on Windows. I don't use Windows myself for most things. I'm a Linux person. Uh, but the tools that I'm going to show you are just the more accessible and more popular. Okay, so let's assume you're on Windows. This is a version of Windows 10, actually. First thing you're going to Google is R, just R. Okay, you should find this, the R project for statistical computing. This is what you want to do. The first thing we're going to do is get the basic version of R, which you can get here. I'm clicking to download R. That should send you to a mirror and the idea of the mirror is that you should pick one that is close to your physical place so i live in london i'm working at imperial college i'm gonna get imperial college mirror and uh, there you go i can download r for windows here obviously if you're on linux or if you're on mac you should go for these i'll illustrate the procedure for windows only for now right click here and then binaries for the base distribution this is what you want to do install r for the first time click there click on this one and it should download um so this is going to take a little bit of time i am lucky i have a fast connection here and you see that this is downloaded quite fast uh, so fingers crossed in a few seconds will be done and there you go it's been downloaded okay I'm gonna click on this one, see what happens. Right, I'm gonna say install anyway, and it should start the installation procedure here. All right, so this will take a little bit of time. I will be forwarding, uh, fast forwarding the um, um, procedure here. But what you wanna click on is next. Okay, there is a small customization I recommend you do here. Uh, there is a program file which is in there that I will remove. I don't want it to install it in program file, but just in uh, C colon backslash R. And this is where my R folder is going to be installed. Right, next. Yes, create it. Thank you. Uh, you can tick all of these and accept the default. Next and create a sh desktop shortcut. Why not? Right. So. This is going to be installing, and this is going to be basically installing pretty much all I need with R. Um, now, there is a couple of extras that I want uh, to recommend using because it will make your life easier. Namely, an environment in which you will be able to code and, and write your R code uh, in uh, just a, a much more user-friendly way. Um, and that should just make your life easier. So if you wanted to stick to normal R, you would just need this, but we are going to install yet another thing. And the one thing you want to go this time is R Studio. R Studio, there you go. Okay, first link should be the right one. You can click on this. Then you want to go to download here, download R Studio. And I am cheap, so I want to use the free version here. The free version should do everything you need. So unless you're a company willing to use R um, for profit, you're f totally fine with the basic free version. And you'll see there's different platforms here, a bunch of flavors of Linux, Mac, and Windows. We want to use Windows. There we go. All right, it's downloading something again. And hopefully that will be fast on a slightly slower connection. That will take a little while. Um, I think this is a few megabytes to download. All right. Let's adjust this a little bit. Yeah, 85 megabytes. Done. All right. There you have R Studio. Okay, before starting this, I'm going to check that R finished installed. Okay. Uh, Alt tab. This is finished. That is good. Let's have a look before installing R Studio. It should have added, there we go, it's added these two shortcuts here. And I'm gonna show you what basic R looks like. All right, if you click on this and press return, this is what you have here. You have your R console, and this is where you'll be typing your code, okay? Not very user-friendly, so that's what we'll, we're going to improve on. I'm gonna close this, go back to the web browser, and click on RStudio here. All right, 
and yes Windows I want to install this all right same as usual just click on next I'm gonna do the same here and just put that in R not program file R okay R backslash R studio okay so all my R stuff is gonna be in C colon backslash R right install want to leave everything by default here and let's see what happens oh okay there we go done finished all right let's click on this and that should be all I need all right so at this stage our studio has been install installed uh, but it, as you can see here, I don't really have shortcuts for it. I've got my old shortcuts for R, but R Studio is missing. So I want to click here, type R Studio, or just the beginning, right? Found it. Right click and pin to taskbar, or whatever it is you need to do to add a shortcut. And you can see that it's added the R Studio icon here. So you can click there, and that should start R Studio. Right and this view will become very quickly familiar so you have your console here typically you'll have an additional thing which is a R script um, so in this panel here this is your script this is where you write your code and where you save your code for the next sessions the console is solely to run the code you'll have graphics appearing in this panel here alongside help pages uh, in various plots and in this panel here you'll have uh, a display of the objects in your environment. But we'll see about this next time when we learn how to create projects together. That's it for today. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section and I'll see you next time.